Well, I woke up this morning, came out here. It looks like a deer has eaten all my beet tops. Luckily, it's like left the roots, but there's like deer tracks. And also, luckily, it didn't eat my Egyptian spinach sprouts. But dang deer. So of YouTube do a quick garden update it's July 11th 2014 got the giant sun sugar cherry tomato it's climbing all over the place got branches resting over here on top of the bushes and up front got the jalapenos loaded all over the plant Got the Serrano, Pepperoncini, loaded down with peppers. There's another Pepperoncini. And this is the Corno de Toro. And up on the deck, got the Parsley Triple Set. Got a uh, Egyptian spinach this Stuff is really good Got the basil Italian basil Cinnamon basil starting to bolt and the uh, cucumbers Alibi and market more 76 Got all the sun sugar cherry tomatoes been harvesting and dehydrating a whole bunch of those to get even results I shuffle the trays take one out spin it around and then put the bottom one in the top rack And the uh, cayenne peppers are coming on. Got lots and lots of red ones. And also the corno de toros have been starting to ripen up red. Been harvesting some of those. Starting to get my first red ripe California wonder bell peppers. And the kale is kicking, producing lots and lots of salads. Got the serrano peppers, need those to start turning red hopefully soon. Here are the pole beans. Next year I'm not going to plant radishes in the springtime. I'm going to directly wait to sow pole beans because these are lagging behind. I remember last year I already had like full to the top pole beans. Here's some more pole beans. Got French purple and rattlesnake. Got the cucumbers. This is a mixture of different varieties of cucumbers. Climbing up the trellis. 